If the area of the large rectangle shown below is 147 square units, what is the perimeter of the shaded region, which should be the perimeter of this orange rectangle? Assume all dimensions are whole numbers. So to keep things organized, let's call this a sub one, this a sub two, and this a sub three, and therefore the area of the orange rectangle would be a sub four. Let's begin by determining the area of this orange rectangle, and then we'll work on determining the perimeter of this orange rectangle. So the area of the orange rectangle, a sub four, would have to be equal to the total area of the large rectangle, which we know is 147, and then minus the three known areas of 48, 15, and 28. 147 minus 48 minus 15 minus 28 equals 56. So a sub four must equal 56 square units. Now remember the goal here is to determine the perimeter of this orange rectangle. To do this, we'll now work on determining the dimensions of each of these four smaller rectangles. To find the area of a rectangle, we find the product of the length and the width. So by using the known areas, we'll see if we can determine the dimensions of each rectangle. And because 15 has less factors than 48, 28, and 56, Let's first see if we can determine the dimensions of this rectangle here. Notice how because we know the area is 15 square units, the dimensions would have to be either one by 15 or three by five. Let's use the dimensions three by five. If the dimension of three by five didn't work, we'd have to come back and try one by 15. Now from here, if we know this length is three units, then the opposite length here would also have to be three units. So if we know the area of this rectangle here is 48 square units, and this length is three units, because three times 16 is equal to 48, that means the length of this side here would have to be 16 units. Now if these dimensions are correct, notice how the length of this long side of the larger rectangle would have to be 16 plus five or 21 units which means the opposite side here would have to be 21 units. And this will help us determine the dimensions of the remaining two rectangles. Let's take a look at the rectangle here with an area of 28. Notice how the dimensions of this rectangle could not be one by 28 because 28 is greater than 21. So it could be either two by 14 or four by seven. Let's try four by seven. So if this is four units, and this is seven units, notice how the area would be 28 square units. And if this length is four units, the opposite length here would also have to be four units. So if this length is four units and the area of this orange rectangle is 56 square units, because four times 14 equals 56, the length of this side here would have to be 14 units. And notice how this does work because 14 plus seven does equal 21. So now we have all the information we need to find the perimeter of the shaded region, or in this case, the perimeter of this orange rectangle. The perimeter is equal to the sum of the lengths of the four sides, or if we want two times the length plus two times the width. So the perimeter here would be two times the length of 14 plus two times the width of four, which is equal to 28 plus eight, which equals 36. And the perimeter is a length, so the units would be units, not square units. This question doesn't ask, but if it did, notice how we could also now determine the perimeter of the larger rectangle, because now we know the dimensions of the larger rectangle would be seven units by 21 units. I hope you found this helpful.